why I don't watch the news. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jermaine, back on another video. So this video, I was responding to a comment and I remember telling someone in the comment, like, you watch too much new, you watch the news too much or something along those lines. And maybe some, maybe people would see that as like a negative, you know, statement, but let's just talk about the news. Um, I, I, I thought I would expand on why I said that, okay? You watch the news too much because I'm gonna keep it real. I don't want to say that watching the news too much of is negative, but like, let's just, let's just talk about the news as business model. So first off, I don't know, I, I guess some people think the news is like a government entity, but no, the news is like for profit. Like they are like a, for, they're a business and yeah, that's pretty much what the news is. And if you are in the business of being a news station, well, guess what? You're going to want to show things that that people like are gonna pay a lot of attention to, right? And you know what? It's actually not good stuff that people pay most attention to. People pay most attention to bad stuff and bad things that are happening and negative things that are that, that, that's going on. So that's why whenever you cut the news on, that's why it's always like usually something negative because honestly, people are gonna pay that more attention because it'll it could very well worry them. Um, I think I lost a lot of uh, trust in the news when I went to Egypt a couple of years ago. And, you know, in the U.S., you know, um, I, I was just like following the U.S. media and it was like, yo, you know, there, there's civil unrest, you know, they're th overthrowing the president and, you know, this is going on and that's going on. But I had already booked a flight, right? And I was thinking, should I go? And then they gave me the option to cancel my flight. So I, I, I ended up going anyway. And I remember leaving um, Amsterdam because it was a flight from LA to Amsterdam and then Amsterdam to Egypt. And the freaking flight was like empty. And I was talking to people in line and they were like, oh yeah, yeah, it's totally safe. Like you, you, know, you, you, you don't have anything to worry about. And I get there and yeah, there were definitely some civil unrest, like some protests, but like, it was pretty much safe. But the, the, the news that the, 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 the picture that the news was painting was like, if I go there, I'm gonna die, you know? And it wasn't like that. So I kind of always looked at the news differently, um, you know, from, from that angle. But I would say probably my most important reason why I don't watch the news is, okay, back to making the money, right? Okay, once again, they have to show things that people are going to pay most attention to, right? And people are going to pay a lot of attention to crime. They're going to pay a lot of attention. Pay, are going to pay lots of attention to crime in their community, right? Where they live. And for some people, this can be just horrible because, you know, you cut the news on because I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. And let me tell you, whenever I go back home, if there's ever some like big crime that happened, I'll go to like my mom's house and my mom will tell me about it. Right. And then I'll go to another friend's house and that friend will tell me about it. And then I'll go to someone else's house and they'll tell me about it. But they'll all say it the exact same way. Like literally, they'll say it like word for word almost. And it's like, you guys are like completely different people, completely different backgrounds. You guys all watch the news, right? And the news tell you, oh yeah, it was this such and such uh, crime that happened. And you know, it was really, really bad. And all these people got, you know, such and such, such and such, you know? And, and multiple people will tell me the same exact way. And, and it's kind of like, it's kind of scary. It's like, it's very, um, it, it'll put like fear into people. And then when, whenever you talk about the fear, holy cow. So like this whole Ukraine situation that we've had going on, people have been very, very afraid. I mean, people were afraid about this Ukraine situation months ago because in the news they were talking about how, you know, Putin and Ukraine and this situation is going to happen. So this was something that got people afraid. Like I was talking to homies back home and this was in what October and they're talking about do you think Putin's gonna invade Ukraine in October I was thinking oh no I don't think so I don't think so but like people back then were already consuming that information on the news and they're already like getting worked up and getting freaked out about it and thinking oh what's gonna happen to the economy and for people that like watch the news all the time this could be horrible you know, this could be horrible, especially with this whole like Ukraine situation. And then, you know, people are freaking out about that. They're like, oh yeah, we're about to go to war. We're about to go to war. You know, people freaking out. And then, you know, and then that they go on the news and they say the N word. And you guys know exactly what the N word is. They said nuclear, right? And that got people even more afraid. 
because come on like nuclear like we we, we don't want to we don't want to talk like that like we, what 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 can you do like it's just getting people more afraid and then guess what happened after that gas prices went sky high okay so now people are you know af afraid about that they can barely sleep at night they don't know if gas is going to be five dollars tomorrow or six dollars or if they don't know if it's going to drop down to 492 you know, they, they just give you a little break, but then the prices go up so fast, they don't come down as quick, you know? And at the end of the day, it just puts a lot of fear in people, right? It puts a lot of fear in people. Now, don't get me wrong. The news is very important to watch. Like there are some things on there that you probably want to know, like the weather, right? Um, you probably want to know about different scams that are going on in your community, right? People, you know, getting scammed here and there. You probably want to know about like certain, like things like you know events going on in the city that you probably wouldn't i don't know maybe, maybe they just talk about something that that is of interest of, of you uh, of to you so th this is another reason why 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 you you know could watch the news but for me i just 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 felt like you know the news is like it, it's rough yo like it's rough like every now and then i'll watch like news clips on youtube but watching a news clip on YouTube is not like watching the news. It's not like watching the whole 30 minute news section, you know, where, you know, it's like 30 minutes or an hour and they're just sitting there talking about everything that happened. When you watch news clips, you, you, you just watch like whatever it is, like you watch those on YouTube. So I guess that's kind of like watching the news, but it's kind of like you, you just watch like their, that one particular thing. And it's not as brainwashing because like I go to some people's houses like back home and people will have the, the news on in the background, but they'll have the news on in the background like the whole day, right? It's on like repeat, right? It's on, literally it's on repeat. And, it, and you know, after being there for a couple hours, you, you, it, like I start to remember what they're about to say. Like I already know what they're gonna say because I've heard it like five freaking times already, you know, because I've been here and it's just been on repeat. and. <laughs> I mean, that's insane, you know, and they're talking about the most crazy stories that happen or they're talking about how, you know, this other person, you know, just, you know, bought a new Bentley and, you know, they just bought a new fancy house and they're talking about someone else, you know, tax invasion and they're talking about someone else, you know, it's talking about a bunch of crazy stuff and, you know, you consume that all the time and then that, that, that becomes your world, you know, and then you think, oh, I don't want to go to San Francisco because every time I cut the news on, they break it into people's cars. So I don't want to go to San Francisco. They're going to break into my car. And then, and then it, it just puts more fear into people. Like, I don't want to go on 3rd Street. They shooting folks, you know? Oh, I don't want to go to Union Square because, you know, it's people laying out on the street. Yeah, well, there are some people laying out on the street, but that's not everywhere. That's not everywhere. That's definitely not, you know? But sometimes the news will or, or, or make it feel like it, it's everywhere. Make it, make, make it feel like you can't escape it, you know? Like, and that's not necessarily the case, you know? I remember when September the 11th happened, you know, a lot of people thought that New York, like the whole New York was like under attack, but actually it was, you know, the, the Twin Towers. It was that one area, you know, the, the whole, whole New York was okay. It was just like that one little area. But to some people, you know, seeing it on the news, New York got attacked, you know? It, it, it paints this picture in their eyes like, New York's gone! And it's like, no, New York's not gone. No, it was just one little area. So like the news can just put a lot of fear into people, you know? But once again, just thought I would make a quick video like why I don't, why I don't watch the news because I know a lot of people out there love the news. They love their daily dose of other people's drama. They love their daily dose of other people's misery and pain. Um, and then also some people just want to know what's going on like in their community and you know They want to figure out like oh, how do I avoid this and how do I avoid that and other people just like to watch the news because you want to see the commercials Right, I don't know. Let's just face it. Some people like to watch the news because they want to see the commercials I don't know. I'm just making that up But ho hopefully you don't watch the news for the commercials because actually there, there's other things you can watch for better commercials Because commercials on the news kind of suck for the most part. Yeah, anyway like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. If you watched the end of this video, I want you to put 27 down in the comments down below. So thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.